The bronze pack method has been around for years. You simply open bronze packs and sell the players that go for more than 200 coins. And because the bronze pack is so cheap to buy into, you're likely to make profit. But with this year, we need to make a change because EA has removed the 400 coin packs from the store. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way in which you can progress through Ultimate Team. Before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Every single week, we're uploading our latest news and tutorials so that you can get the most out of Ultimate Team. So if you do want to stay up to date, then make sure you are following the channel. If you want to see more content from me, which isn't related to FIFA, you're just interested in entertainment live streams, then there is a link in the description down below, which will take you over to the second YouTube channel. I'm streaming over there three days per week, playing a variety of different games. Recently, I've already got into Warzone, so we're playing through that. So if you do want to see that, link is found in the description down below. And getting back into the video, the bronze pack method has always been a number one way for players that aren't so confident in trading using this to be able to build their club. It allows you to be able to make coins while selling bronze players, but it also opens you up to stack your club with loads of different players. Bronze players that can be used for different types of SBCs and hopefully and eventually those bronze players will then be upgraded to silver players and then gold players and then hopefully you can actually get someone of value. Someone that can actually go into your team that's going to be a good player that you can use within matches or someone that you can sell on for a decent amount of coins. This year though the bronze pack method has changed. 400 coin bronze packs are no longer a thing. As an attempt to change up the store, add new customization options, and declutter what is actually there, EA has removed the 400 coin bronze packs and the 2500 silver packs. The remaining bronze and silver packs that are available are located under Classic. But despite the 400 bronze packs being removed, the bronze pack method still works. It's just now you have to put up a lot more coins for you to open a pack. The 750 coin bronze packs will give you bronze players and consumables with three of those items being rare. Whereas in previous FIFAs, we were only able to get one rare from the 400 coins. This method still works and it's still worth doing to stack your club. Now for this, I do always recommend having a suitable amount of coins into your accounts before you go through the bronze pack method. And the coins I always recommend is 50,000. 50,000 coins is way more than enough for you to actually go into the bronze pack method, have a lot so that you can open a lot of bronze packs, but it also puts you in a position where you're not solely focusing this method for you to make coins, because I don't believe you should only focus on just this if you're trying to build your club. You'll notice really quickly that this isn't the number one way for you to make coins in your account. There are hundreds of different methods that you can use which will add more coins into your account compared to this one. So having an account balance gives you enough to actually go for this method, but also leave some coins over for you to build a team, start going through SBCs, and also leave even more coins over for you to go into other trader methods. Other trader methods which will give you a much higher return so that you can continue to progress forward. So for those of you that are new, what do you do with the bronze pack method? Well, it's quite simple. You're going to head over to the store and under classic, you will find a selection of different packs. There you'll find a 750 coin bronze pack. This will offer you 12 different items varying between players and consumables and it will include free rares. All you're going to do is simply open this bronze pack. It'll play through the pack animation and then you'll see everything that you've got inside. This is where you're going to check the price for each player and you're going to do this just by comparing them. Because we're dealing with bronze players, you don't need to go through hundreds of pages to compare each player. There's normally only a couple. And all you're looking out for is what that player actually sells for. If you look at a player and you find a player like this one where it's only 150 coin bid and 200 coins by now, this is the lowest that they can be listed. So we know that it's unlikely for this player to sell. But you will also come across players where it's not the lowest that it could be listed on the market. Instead, you'll find players that can go for a couple hundred coins as their lowest buy now or even a couple thousand coins. If you find players like this, you need to list them. When you list them, you're going to undercut the market. So if you manage to get a certain player and when you compare their price, their lowest buy now is 500 coins, you're going to list 400 coins. That way yours is the cheapest on the market. And when anyone is looking to buy that specific player, 
they're going to be buying your one because it's the cheapest. It makes no sense for them to go for anything more than that. And going back to the players that don't sell, you're not going to do anything with them. We know for already check-in that they've got 150 coin bid, a 200 coin buy now. That's the lowest that they can be listed. They're not going to sell. So it's pointless wasting time for you to try and list them on the market. Instead, you're just going to send them to your club. Just because they don't sell doesn't mean that they're never going to sell and it doesn't mean that they're not valuable. And this is where you have a few options. The first option and the option that most people go for is you can use them for different SBCs. Every single week, we get a variety of different squad builder challenges which require you to meet different parameters. And if you meet those parameters, you'll be able to submit the team or certain players for you to get the reward. There will be a few SBCs, including marquee matchups that may require you to have bronze players, or at least you can use bronze players within them. The most common challenge that players go into is the bronze upgrade. The bronze upgrade allows you to put bronze players within them, and at the end, you'll get a two player silver pack. And if you do this enough, eventually you'll have enough silver players to go for the silver upgrade. You can then go through that by supplying different silver players, which will then give you three common gold players. And finally, once you have three common gold players, you can then go and put those through the gold upgrade, which will give you rare player packs. Now, I should say that even though it was very quick for me to explain that, it is going to take you quite a bit of time. You're going to need anywhere between two to 300 bronze players for you to submit them to get silver packs and for those to then give you silver players that can be then used for common gold packs and then use those common gold players to finally get one rare gold player pack. And this only includes two players. So it is a very, very long process. But if you're going to put the time in just a couple minutes per day where you open just a couple of bronze packs, eventually over the weeks over the months it will add up and not to mention that all of this can be done for free yes you are spending 750 coins to open one of these initial bronze packs to begin with but as already mentioned we're listing the players that sell not every single time that you open one of these packs you'll find a player in there that does go for a substantial amount but every couple of packs you'll find a player that does sell and that will pay for the pack that you've just opened plus it'll also pay for some of the previous packs that you've opened or some of the packs that you're going to open within the future worst case scenario if you do make a loss you're not losing out by a crazy amount in most cases you're either breaking even or you are making profit and this is why we're still talking about it today you're putting up such a small amount of coins to begin with for you to have such a good return with the amount of players within your club and on top of that, you're being paid to do it. It just makes sense for a lot of players. Now, as said at the beginning, if you're looking to do this and you think it's an easy way to make coins, go ahead, go and do it. But I still recommend not putting all your focus on just this. It will give you a decent return. It will stack your club with players which can be used, but unfortunately, it's not going to give you hundreds of thousands in just a day. You should still be using another trader method beside this. This is just an extra thing that you can do on the side where you're able to open 10, 20 bronze packs per day and you can do what you want with them where you're able to make a couple hundred coins here and there and store players within your account. And gradually as you keep on doing this, you will see the benefits. One thing that I do, which definitely benefits me and hopefully will also benefit you is not actually selling certain players or using certain and players for SBCs even if they don't sell. If I manage to get a rare bronze player from a pack and I check their price, he's got 150 coin bid, 200 coin buy now and I know that he's not going to sell, I store him to the club but I do not use him for upgrade SBCs. The reason for this, at some point within the future we will get an SBC which could potentially require us to have that team and if it does it means that player is going to be desirable and because he's a rare bronze player there's a chance, admittedly a slim chance but a chance that that player needs to be used and he becomes in demand. If he's in demand and there's a limited amount of players available in the market, then that player's price is going to increase. That's when I can use him for the SBC itself or I can go and sell him on full of coins. Another thing that I do is I don't sell any players that I get from the Premier League, Serie A, Liga, Bundesliga or La Liga. It's pretty much the exact same reason as the rare bronze players. With the teams that belong within the top five major leagues, it's more likely that they're going to be used for different SBC requirements compared to other teams and if I manage to have a bronze player that plays within those leagues and plays for those teams then there's a higher chance that I can use them to sell on later. This is just something that I've been doing at the minute because we are at the beginning of FIFA 22. I don't have any examples of this actually happening or me actually benefiting from this but there's been plenty of times in the past where we've known that bronze players have been
be needed for certain SBCs. And because they're the only players within that position or the only players that can fit within that SBC requirement, it's led to them going for a couple thousand coins. Some have even become extinct on the market, making them the max price at 10,000 coins. If you can get a player like that, which is used, which is desirable from the pack itself at the time, or you've managed to store it within your club months or weeks before, then it puts you in a real good position. A good position to complete the team for cheap or for you to make a good amount of coins. But anyway, guys, this is the bronze pack method. In FIFA 22, it does still work. It just requires you to put up 750 coins rather than 400 coins. Going through this method is not the best method if you are just looking to build up as many coins as you can as quickly as possible. It's not going to do that. It's not going to give you 100,000 coins overnight just in a couple minutes of use. Using. But what it will do is allow you to have loads of different players within your club. And gradually over time, as you use these bronze players for different SBCs, you'll get different types of silver players, you'll get different types of gold players, common gold players, rare gold players. And hopefully as you keep on going through this, you'll start to get some really good pack pulls. Pack pulls that can be used to improve your team or pack pulls that can then be used to go into other SBCs which are tradable. And then you can sell those players on for a decent amount of coins. If you do have any questions about anything that we've talked about in this video, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.